Jerry Hayden. I'm a great great granddaughter of Durham Bennell, a very traditional Yunga man and um, well respected within within the community that he um, lived in with all his children. Bujin Rock is very significant to Yunga people from around this area. Our old people always said that it's a sacred place. And right on top of the Bujin Rock, there's a water hole up the top. One of the Ngama holes is significant because it shows the rock formation of the old Wagal, and the old Wagal is a water serpent. It's very significant to our Nunga people. Like many of our sites, we're trying to protect it. We have to look at registering those sites because now they're sort of making new places for hobby farms, so we need to make sure that they're registered. Further on, there's a rock. Around the rock, there is a woman's birthing place. My mum always brought us here and, and told us that this chair was very significant to our Nyunga people. We was always told that we respect it. I brought my children out here, come out with mum. It's actually mum showed some of the Noongar community in town there and none of them actually ever knew about it and was quite surprised when she actually showed them and actually told, her about, told them about it. And, and they come out here on regular occasions of the community, so yeah. A lot of them just come out and just walk and talk and have a look at places and things that you know that are important to us but mostly just going back and sitting down telling stories here and yarns about the old people and you know how what the old people done and and um, yeah as kids we sort of picked up on how significant Bujin Rock is for our old people that used to be because there was a place where they can come and it's a place for us now that we would just come back and sit down and remember the old times about our old people telling stories. And it makes our kids, you know, start respecting our old people. And they see come back to places like this because they take us for granted and take our old people for granted. Our old people, they sort of pass on and we forget about, we forget about the stories, we forget about passing them on to our younger generation. But these places are, are something that we can always come back to and we can always go and remember the good times with our old people in growing up and hearing the stories. And most of all, listening to those birds there and, and coming, back to, coming back to nature, I suppose, is bringing us back to our, to our roots. This is Ngala Budja, Nunuk Budja. Nunuk Jurupa, Nunuk Nini this is our land, this is your land. I'm happy that I can come back here, sit down and talk to you.